lowest risk for during their pregnancy years and therefore were more likely to have unhealthy or poor pregnancy outcomes or deaths if they were in their mid-20s than if they is. were in their late teens. Now, that flew in the face of, of all the people that were saying mm -hmm. teens shouldn't be having sex, period. Right. And okay. I understand that. Yeah. But that's the kind of flack she received because it's like, are you promoting black teens to get pregnant? Right. No, she's not. What she was saying was that 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 they're the tendency the, the tendency for, for births to be healthy for black women were in their teen years and become less healthy during their 20s. The point was this, that the risks were higher in black young women the later they waited to have children. And this is an old ass black simp. women in the United States were more likely to have a healthy pregnancy in their late teens than in their mid 20s. And that was not true for whites. White women had the lowest risk around their mid 20s and the highest risk of having unhealthy or poor pregnancy outcomes uh, around their mid, around their, um, their their teen years. Okay. So the conclusion is that the rates of poor pregnancy outcomes were higher because the black women who waited just a few years later oh. were more weathered. Dr. Jeremiah stated, "Quote: Okay. The impact on their bodies here it is in a nutshell. Discrimination, political marginalization, social economic adversity, and racism. Oh, uh, here we here we go. Now 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 this is what I want to talk about. What's behind weathering? This." Is that when people are here in Memphis the over the past week? Hold on, let me turn this down. Okay, here it is. I turned it down. Here in Memphis, and within the past six days, we have had no less than six shootings. Just about all of them had fatalities. And this guy in this radio station, they ain't talking about that. They talking about goddamn racism. Now, does racism still exist? Of course it does. No one's saying that it don't exist. But you have these old, tired, out of the game, chitlin eating simps. They ignore all the shit that's plaguing the black community and they want to put it on racism. And they wonder why us boom, uh, I'm not a boomer, thank God, but why us Gen Xers and millennials don't like and particularly care for the damn boomers. Man, give me a motherfucking break. This is why I really don't like fooling with niggas, man. I really don't. I really don't. Niggas killing each other in the damn streets and this MF. He wants to talk about white folk. I'm out.